Okay, so how's it going? Today is just going to be a quick video to hopefully get you guys started in Legendary Tales that little bit quicker. Now, there is a tutorial in this game, and it's not too bad. I think it's just been updated a little bit. Uh, definitely some graphics have changed. Goblins now look like mini people from Shrek for some reason. But what I wanted to dig into was to show you some things that I think the game might not tell you. So, let's just take any weapon, okay? Uh, not that one, that's a stupid weapon to do this with. Uh, this one. Okay, so I can do two things at once here. When you're holding a weapon, uh, this game is only toggle grip. So uh, what that means is basically when you press the button, you let go. When you press it again, you grab it. If you want to move your hands up and down a weapon, pull in trigger. And then you can slide your hand up and down it, right? Okay, don't get too excited. So this one will be an even better example of that. So for example, if you want to take long hits, just pull the trigger and then move your hands down here and uh, leave my hand there, pull the trigger on the left. So boom, there that is. Now there's a quick inventory on each hand and you can access a quick inventory by holding circle or triangle. So this is obviously for my right hand. So I'm gonna place that in there. And here I've got some shields, so I'm gonna take that. Okay, so if you just wanna put stuff away, that's what you need to do. Now another thing, if you wanna pick stuff up in this game, you pull down on the right joystick. Now I'm just gonna do that again pull down on the right joystick that's how you collect stuff in your inventory because one of the things when i got in this game i was a bit like how do i put stuff <laughs> in my inventory while we're here obviously here is your stats and your levels uh, unfortunately today the game got updated fortunate for you guys unfortunate for me i've lost my save game so i had to quickly play this for like an hour to get back to level six um there's the stuff that you're wearing it tells you the stats i don't know why there's no stats in the helmets or enchantments or anything i thought i had some um color coding so yellow as far as i can tell as far as i've got in the game is the best okay and that's letting me know that i've already uh, i'm actually using that now uh purple i guess is secondary and white being basic items and that also transfers into value now because i've lost my save game what i can't show you is what happens in here this is the gambling tent when you meet a lady later on in the game, she will, you'll probably wonder where the hell she ends up. Uh, and she ends up here. And when you come here, uh, you'll be spending your gold, of which I've got 2k now. I don't know how I thought I had 3k. I don't know where the money's gone. Um, and it will say like one-handed sword, body armor, armor. And it's a roulette. So when you pick up a crystal and crush it in your hands, um, an item will appear. You could get very lucky. As far as I know from talking to the developers, it's just a roll of the dice. Okay, it's just a roll of the dice. So let's go from left to right. Let's do a quick bit of smithing uh, to get you guys going. So what we want to do is select the metal part of our weapon we want to make. Let's make a an axe. Okay, we'll make a hatchet head. We've selected hatchet head. So now we go to object uh, and we grab our iron ore. Okay, so we've got our iron ore. There's far too much of it, and every time you're going to grab it now, it's going to split. And there we go, so. And what you can do, you can only go up to level 10 with this. As you can see, right, level 3, level 4, blah, blah, blah. There we go. Ingredient max, okay? Now, what you need to remember is what you're making, because if you make the wrong handle over there, then you can't use the head. So we need to remember that we're making a hatchet. You need to pull this down five times. And there she is. Drop that. Press down on the joystick back in your inventory. Let's grab it. Put it on here. Now, the developer mentioned something about how to hit this properly. You can either just hit it like that, or you can hit it left and right. And for the life of me, I can't remember why he said hit it left and right, but he did mention that helps. And then grab this, put it in the water. I also said to him I wanted some more steam when we're doing that. <laughs> there we go. So there's our head of our axe. Now we need to make the hatchet hatchet handle. Okay, get rid of this thing. Open up uh, our objects and grab birch plank. All right, we've got 10 of these and that's exactly the amount we need. So one, two, Three. It better not have changed what I'm making. Uh, 
there we go 10 and then we push this in and then I think we do this as well five times there we go and it pops out on the bottom in case you're wondering where the hell it's gone and then oh god there we go nice we now have an axe which is pretty cool so let's quickly look at the levels of it now to look at the levels of items just leave them in midair and there it is so this is the level 10 axe i can't use it at the moment um i'm just kind of making something for the future now i'm hoping to be able to have enough money to go and show you um how to and you can only do this on items you make as far as i can tell not items you find so uh how much is this Okay, we're going to buy this, okay? So there are crystals that you can find, magic crystals that you can crush on top of this wheat stone to make it a magic wheat stone, but I haven't, I don't think I've got any. Let me have a quick check. Uh, what's this? Blood chunk, mana chunk, which we're going to get to in a minute. Key, meat, and just a refreshing snack. So, uh, drink, so. There we go. We have now fully complete uh, created the weapon. If you don't do the wheat stone, you haven't created the weapon. Okay. Right now we report to the blacksmith because this is apparently a mission that I needed to do. I'm going to show you next uh, that you can recycle items here and you can also sell items over there. There you go. Nice. Thank you. What else? Give the weapon a title. Okay. That's quite handy. So. We've just made our own weapon, yeah, using the smithing tools. Uh, we used a wheat stone to sharpen it to make it into an actual weapon. And then we place it on here. And then we pick a name for it. So I'm going to go with honorable. And that means it gains honor points. But there we have it. Even though I can't use this at the moment, it's still pretty cool. Drop it. Put it in our... Um, Oh no, I can't put it in my inventory because I'm bloody full up. So let's go and sell some items. Let's put this away for now. Uh, so there we go. Holding the quick inventory, which I believe was circle or triangle. So that's now put away. Quickly to discuss, this fire will heal you. Okay, it will um, build up your mana again and build up your health. Now, the, you might stand here and think, why is this taking so long? Now, the reason the guys made it a slow process, and whether I agree with this or not is not important, but basically they wanted you guys to be able to have a rest because they believe the game is super physical. I believe it's super physical. In the last hour to get to this point, I am sweating. So that's there. So here we go. This is where we sell items. So what we do, it says select all. I'm not going to select all, obviously. I'm just going to sell everything that's in white. Um, because uh, I just don't really want low-level items. So that is, oh, there we go. A couple more there. Uh, and the club. No, wow. There we go. That, that, and that. Sell. So now we're just left with pretty decent items. And I believe a couple of these I can't even use yet. Or, or have I got everything I can use? No, I've got everything I can use. So that's how you sell items. Um, let's chuck something in this thing, even though I've just got rid of all my cool stuff. What shall I get? What's the thing I probably don't care about? There we go. Let's put it in. All right, and then we do that. And then we got some ore and some wood, yeah, which you're going to use to craft your own stuff. So hopefully that pretty well explained. Uh, obviously, you guys can pause the video, rewind the video. This is a uh, fast travel point. Okay, and it's going to tell me where it's going to take me. It's going to take me to the refugee camps. When you're in the open world, and this is this is the open world, this is the open map, right? You haven't entered any dungeons, and this goes on for quite some time uh, around the map. And as you access areas, any time you drop a portal, which is done by pressing X and pressing square, you then pull the trigger on that one, pull the trigger on that one, put them together, and then hold them till it basically looks like a magic mirror. So it looks like you can actually go into it. And watch. It will bring me back to the camp. So that's the idea. Okay, so anytime you're in the open world and you drop a portal, this is the place you will always come back to. Okay, and that's quite good because it will obviously be a place that you can increase your mana or recover mana or recover health. So using this fast travel point, I'm now at the refugee camp where I probably wasn't actually expecting any enemies to be because they're all dead. And I can't... So that so this is what happens, right? If you use an item, yeah, if you have an item equipped, which is a high level, it does no damage. 
Okay, so this is the level 10 axe we made, uh, and it just doesn't do anything. Right, so this is the good time, I guess, to talk about parrying. Um, you can just stop, uh, or block, sorry. Yeah, and uh, that, that kind of works, as you saw. But if you manage to actually give them a good hit back, apparently your next hit does more damage, and you can use the butt ends of your weapons to do damage as well. I think that's pretty handy. Um, let's try and get a crystal out of someone, because when I first started playing this, I was, um... When I first started playing this, I was, like, putting away my weapon to crush these crystals. But you can do that. I can grip uh, I can grip this crystal and it'll crush it and shut the arm. Or, you can just hit it like that. And then press down on the joystick and then you've collected it. So let's have a quick look at what that was. Go to item. It's a level one. For some reason, it's not showing any stats. I might have to let the developers know about that. I'm sure these had stats in some way, but they don't seem to be having any stats at the moment. Uh, I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure there were stats of some sort. But there's no stats on the helmets, but that's how you check the stats. And as I said, if you want to know what two items are at any time and what they're supposed to be, there you go. So you just put your hands over them and it'll tell you exactly what they are, what they do. And yeah, round there is a boss, uh, the first boss that you need to take on. He's pretty tough. I don't know if I'm ready to face him. I'll give it a shot though. Just to see what he drops. Right, so be aware, he will throw th things at you most of the time. Whoop! If you're far enough away. Oh, he done me. That's fine. So, uh, I guess this uh, goes to another quick thing. So, a bit like games, like Demon Souls and stuff, you need to go and retrieve your items. If you don't retrieve your items, uh, then you're going to lose them forever. So, luckily, uh, this fast travel point. <laughs> so, luckily, this fast travel point takes us back exactly to where that fight is. Now, hopefully, I'm far enough away from him that I need to pull the sword out the anvil and then I will get my items back. Oh, boys! Oh, man. Oh, Gladiator's Diary, nice. We need that for a mission. And now we've got two elites. How are they? What are the stats? What level are they even? Level four. That's actually pretty good. That means the worst hit's going to do seven, the best hit's going to do seven. Okay, cool. Two percent. Oh, that's quite good. You get more health every time you kill someone. Okay, so now we are back here. Can I put that there? I can there. Uh, one more thing I wanted to show before I talk about teleporting dungeons is... It's on the end of here. Is how to create potions. Um, I think there's three types you can make. And you can also make them into like a super potion. But I don't think I've got enough stuff to do that um so let's grab what have we got blood chunks so blood chunks are what make health okay so we just drop them in there two in there and then we'll get a health potion now hopefully like during that battle you just saw what i could have done was had this in a quick slot in my inventory if you want to drink it you just pull the trigger and 
down it. And that goes the same for mana. There's also like a purple one. Um, uh, or, or I think if you mix the two, if you mix mana and health, then um, you will get a purple potion. And it kind of does basically half and half of both. And there we go. Okay, and the very last thing that I wanted to show you, and I don't really need to show you, I can tell you it, but it's teleporting in dungeons. Okay, so now we're in the very first dungeon you'll come across called Blighthaven. Before I talk about teleportation, um, if you drop anything, here you'll find your lost items and you can stash stuff. So let's, I don't think I've been here yet. Look at the Shrek kid. It's weird, isn't it? Um, this will, so if I step on this, nothing will happen, right? Any time you drop a teleport in this place, you won't go back to the campsite. You'll only come back here. And as I said in my review, um, it's really quite handy if you know you're coming up against a boss to drop a portal. And then if you die, you know, like, you'll be back there in seconds. And one more thing I incorrectly said yesterday was the amount of dash ability you, can, you have. Obviously, as you uh, progress up the levels and you get more MP, then you can dash more, basically. So you start off with three dashes, wait for the noise, then you can dash again. So now I've got basically four dashes available. I hope this helps you. If it does, please like and subscribe, and I will see you all on the next video.